Welcome to another episode of Teach Me, where the pro players teach me about their main character. So today's episode, we're doing Katerina. I decided to go with Galanda from Italy, as everyone looks at him as the Katerina specialist. So today's episode is going to be with Galanda. He also won the Tekken World Tour last chance qualifier in 2018 in Amsterdam. So more than I think he's more than qualified to do this Teach Me episode. So let's get into it. Remember to smash the like button, remember to leave a comment. And if you like tech and content, there's loads of tech and content on this channel. So that's a reason to subscribe. So let's get into it. Katarina Alves. Yo, what's going on? We've got Galanda from Italy to teach me Katarina. Galanda, take Hello, it away, guys. man. Take it away. Hello, how are you good? Good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I want to see this Katarina new stuff. Did she get buffs? Did she get nerfs? I want to see the new stuff, man. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see it. Let's see it. I'm kind of happy with Katarina new changes, so we can explain it. We can explain it. Great. Let's, uh, go. let's go. Let's start from different uh, directly from the patch note list. I will go in order with the patch note list that everybody can see on the Bandai Namco website. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the first command that changed is one one two. The adjustment is decrease the distance between the character and the opponent when the move is blocked. Okay. So basically, uh, one one two is this move, you know, the classic frame trap, mm -hmm. plus seven, it's a high, and now there is less pushback. This means Katrina has a little more, uh, the advantage is more important than before, because basically everything before could be avoided by going back back. Mm. Okay, so now you can still do it, for example on this move you can do it with most of the characters. Uh, on board. You should still do it, but now uh, the good thing is this move is almost impossible to to to, to back dash. Okay. Down, down one up. So that's good. Some characters before could, especially Zafina, you know the characters with crazy crazy back dash. But yeah. now you, you you can use it a little more. It's, it's stronger than before because of the fresh. Okay. And the second change is Harrier 3. Increased the upper range of the attack and adjusted the motion since it was difficult for the opponent in jump status to land a mid attack. Um, it's not a very important change, in my opinion. It's this move, Harrier 3. So okay. it's a very slow, low, I don't use it much. It can be used, but not too much. Mm -hmm. And basically, now the hitbox is bigger. And that's it. Uh, okay. Nothing crazy about it. The mm. box is a little bigger on the high side, so it can be avoided less by hockey or stuff like that. Okay. Not too, not too strong or uh, actually noticeable in game. Uh, the third change is the new move, which is Harrier down for three. Harrier is the stance, so it's this move. Ah. It's a good low, it's plus five, it's low because as you see it's 23 frames. Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, it can be mixed with this a little, as long as you delay mm -hmm. the the harrier, or with up for three, which is a mid, which uh, it's a little um, slower the, than this low, and it can be used. Uh, it's kind of hard to use it in neutral, you know, because it's so slow. It's like this. It's so slow. You can simply push a jab and you float me. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's very very easy to deal with with just everything that is a little fast and yeah you can set walk okay. so in my opinion this move is good after combos for example i'll do a little combo new uh, random one. Oh, yeah partial delay sorry <laughs> you're good you're good so for example here on tech row, boom you got oh. this or you got this and oh. the cool thing is both this move and this move will hit grounded. So if the opponent stay grounded after the um, the ender, yeah, okay, it's actually good for me because I got free damage. Or this, hey, this is also guaranteed a back four, so it's a lot of damage. Nice. So I think this is a good improvement for Katarina mix-up game after Rocky, uh, more than for neutral. It's not a super strong new move. But I believe it's a it's a good addition to to the to Katarina gameplay, so it can be used. 
Okay, nice. The fourth change is down for one. Down for one, uh, it got changes from minus three on block to minus two. Hmm. It's a good buff. It's a good buff. Yeah, now it's minus two. It's a good buff because now, after this, stuff like yeah. the Magic Four doesn't lose to down for one anymore like it did in season three. Uh, okay. It will trade with Magic Four. If you do like uh, down for one and the opponent downs one with a down for one, hmm. we uh, should trade. We should trade if you do with Predator. Faster, faster with down for one. Ah, ah no, that it's because of Parsec, it's because of Parsec, <laughs> no, I get you, I get you, I get you. Okay, okay, anyway, it's minus two as you can see, so it's poorly met. Down for one are normally 30 frames, mm -hmm. uh, magic four is 11, so mm -hmm. it will train in that case. It's not as good as season two, in season two it was ridiculous because it was minus one, it was mm -hmm. too good. But it's still crazy good in my opinion, like as a change compared to before, it's crazy good. And the other very important thing is... After down for one, down four doesn't lose to generic down for two anymore. Like in season three, in season three, after down for one, if I did down four and you did a down for two, we will trade, but you get the full combo after it. Really? Now I will win because a minus two, this move become basically 14 frames. So it will beat the generic down for two. Uh, so this is very important, very, very important because Katrina loves to spam down four. Mm. And going for crouch for these or the Y standing for, so it's one of the best buff she received definitely in season four. Okay, nice, nice, uh, nice. The other move, the fifth change is down for two two. Changes the attack start up from frame twenty seven to frame twenty five. Uh, I will I will explain this because it's a little complicated. The okay. down for two itself is seventy frame. It's mm. not. 27. Mm -hmm. The whole move was 27 now, and now it's 25. This, you see? Oh. It's a start of frame. Why this change is super important? It's down 4 2 2. Um, the change is super important because this move is a good wall splat, has a super good hitbox and tracking, especially the first one. Mm -hmm. And at all, it's super dangerous. Also, the speed is super dangerous. The 17 frames, it's not too fast, not too slow. It's easy to use it for counter timing. So it, it enters a lot, actually. And it's only minus 10. So versus some characters like Azuka, it's almost free, you know, like if they don't have a strong 10 frame punish. Mm. Uh, the problem of this move before was that both both this version and the down forward 2-4, the high, so this one, mm -hmm. You could both sidestep the second hit on the right every time. Okay. But now with this buff, the second hit is not sidesteppable anymore. So you can't do that. You just have to, to block it. You can't. You can't. It will trap 100%. So this is a huge buff because before versus player that had experience in the matchup, mm -hmm. it was very dangerous for me to use them for 2-2. It was basically launchable because yeah. both options were you could just sidestep right and launch it. Okay. Now you can't do it anymore to both down forward 2 2 and down forward 2 4 4 because also down forward 2 4 the high, which is good because it's plus one and it's flat as well, and it also gives tail spin. Mm -hmm. Also, this move got speed up, uh, got sped up, got buffed on the second hit. So even this move cannot be stepped now. Okay. And in my opinion, this is a super good buff at the wall. Super good. I'm really happy with it. Mm. The other thing we have is down forward 3 plus 4. Uh, this move basically they increase the hurt box of the move. It will crush less than before. So this is a nerf. Okay. Uh, before it was almost impossible to, to hit this move with a mid by a lot of characters. But now it I, I kind of have to see this because I don't use this move too much. So uh, a lot of people spam this move. I don't really like it because it's very slow, can be said wall. Mm. I'm not a fan of it. I use it, but a little. Mm. Um, now you can hit it with meat a lot more than before. So it's actually even weaker than before. So I wouldn't suggest you to use this move too much. This is too slow, doesn't give you enough damage. Unless you're really desperate to open an offense, it's better to avoid. 
Makes sense. Okay. Uh, the other one, uh, down one, down one. Increase the distance, increase the distance between the characters and the opponent when the move is blocked. More pushback. This is good because Katrina is at minus seven here. But if you do, for example, West standing four, I can back back it. You know, before I could, before I, I just had to block. Now we are close to the wall, so maybe it's a little hard to, to show also with parts of luck. But yeah, now I, I, as you can see, I can go a little behind, especially. If I hit you from a little far, like from here, I should be able to. It's just that I can't do part I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good, you're good. There's a lot of delay. But yeah, so now you have a lot more opportunities to use this move as a check because it's it's a safe. It reminds me of Leroy down for one plus two, you know, because on counter it, uh, let me on counter it. I got guaranteed a bad four. So it really looks a lot like, you know, the Leroy shoulder, the one plus two. Yeah. I guaranteed that around it. It's very similar, also the speed, 17 frame. So it's a good move, actually, a good mid, solid mid. Uh, and yeah, and now it also can be used a little as a bait. Like, I use this. If I hit you, I'm happy. If I don't hit you and you press button after, I can backdash and launch you. Mm. So this is a super good mover compared to before. It's a solid move. Okay, cool. Sounds good, sounds good. Okay, so after down one, we have down three, four. Down three, four, okay, this move. This mid, uh, sorry, this low is super good. It's super good as an ender, it's zero on hit, but it has two follow-ups, a high one and a mid one. Mm -hmm. The mid one did not change, but the high one now, on block went from minus four to minus one. Why this is good? Because Katarina Jab and Magic Four are super good and they are fast. Being only a minus one means that you can still press button after. Even if you block the second one, I can still press button. Because like what you want to do on down for one, I can even counter you with four 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 after. You must be scared at minus one. That's why down for one of Katarina season two was so strong at minus one. Because Katarina's minus one is a strong character. So now this move, yes, it's a high, so it can be that, but there is the mid. And it's only minus one, so I can still press button after it. So I really like this change as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, now it the makes other sense. one, uh, wow, this is one that I didn't like much. <laughs> I mean, I like it's a buff, I will take it, but down back three is one frame faster than before. <laughs> It's just one frame faster. It was seeable before it's seeable now. So, nothing changed. Maybe online, if the online remained like in season three, maybe it was invisible now for everybody. But it's still seeable. It's a seeable though. Like, you, you can enter with it if you don't use it in a long set and suddenly you use it like after 10 games. Yeah. Or you can enter in tournament when everybody's nervous or they don't, they are not very familiar with the character. But it's a seeable. The metro is here and it's very risky. So you have a guaranteed up back for just at all. Mm -hmm. You don't have anything else. So no, I I don't understand this. Why, why, why improving it by one frame? I don't I don't get it. Either. But mm. okay, they did it. <laughs> That's fine. We will take it. It's still a bug. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, the other thing that they changed for down back three is the same as uh, down for two plus four. They made it a little higher. So it's actually easier to hit with a mid when Katarina is doing it. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Yeah, so it's yeah. A little, it, there is a buff, but there is also a nerf. Too. Okay. It's still a very situational thing. And the move after this, it does weak. Down back four. <laughs> this received, again, the same exact nerf. The hitbox, the hurt box, sorry, got increased. So it's easier to hit Katarina while Katarina is performing it. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So, same thing let's go with one of my favorite buff and one of the most underrated buff in my opinion in the entire season back to plus four which i consider probably in the top three or top five of best katarina moves and i don't see enough katarina using it as much as i do this move back to plus four they increased the damage of the first hit by five okay and they improved the tracking this means this move now is so scary at the wall. I will tell you why it's scary. It's minus 14, but the pushback is crazy. Try to punish it. 
you can. Uh, with the uh, three, 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 maybe you can. I'm not sure. Yeah, doesn't reach. Almost no character in the game reach this move, unless they do something like a forward, forward or a Steve Sonic thing. But there are very few characters that punish this. So this move is almost safe versus a lot of characters. They increase the damage of it, hmm. it's flat, and they increase the tracking. Before, the first hit, if you sidewalk to the left before, the first hit hmm. would hit, but the second one would whiff, and actually you could launch Katarina. <laughs> so hmm. even if the first hit was going to hit, the second one was going to whiff alone, and you could launch Katarina. She was very, very unsafe, because it's like she whiffed. But now, the second hit will always hit when the first one does. So this move is almost a tracking move. Okay. It's crazy at the wall. At the wall, for example, you do a down for one, the opponent tries to check you with a jab, you do this, this is high crush, and you just you, you, you just delete that because it's flat. And if you try to escape going left or right, boom, this will hit. You will follow. Like there, there is no escape from this from this move. It's super super good. This is maybe Apart the down for one, my favorite change of the season four. That makes Another sense. good change is 4424. 4424, which is the Girlanda move as the Korean call it. <laughs> it is a very strong launcher and I use Hamid in season two in the second World Tour last chance mm -hmm. because nobody does the second. Uh, <laughs> they never did in season three, but now they improved the hitbox. Now it's longer. This is very good as a whiff punish because it's still a very strong move like it's 12 frame the you see it's 12 frame mm -hmm. the startup which means the move is 13 on 14 frame frame perfect is 13 it's almost impossible to make it 13 so i will count it as a 14. you can actually punish minus 14 if you are on point it's hard mm. it's very hard i prefer to use 3 because it's easier but you can actually you can actually punish with this if you are really really prepared to for it hmm. uh it's a solid whiff punisher as i said and if the move now is longer make it easier to whiff punish because it's longer hmm. and the other good uh news it's something that i will not be able to show you guys i'm sorry because the parsec is uh delay is, is real but <laughs> now now it's easier to actually do four magic four into four four two this one, yeah, it's impossible. I'm sorry, but let me try. I, I, let me try. But okay, I mean, after this, yeah, you got a four four two, and it's way easier than before. I, I can't now because it, it's really, really, really hard. Try if you want, but yeah. <laughs> but now it's easier, and and most important, you can do it from further. Before you could do this hard. only from attack, like from range zero. Now, even from this range, you can't from max range, but even from this range, for example, you can still do it. You can do 4424. Four, four. You can even do just 442 four, two into down for one and then the classic combo. So it's a good buff. It's a good buff. Okay. Um, the, last, the last one, the last change of the season is the, spot, is the stomp, the famous Katarina stomp. So this one. Okay, I, I had to hit you when you are grounded, so that's why I'm splatting you. This move now it's minus one. Do you see on hit it's mm. minus one? Yeah. Before it was like minus nine. What does it mean? It means after you hit with this move, and actually it happened to do with this move because it's combo after counter uh crush down for four, it's combo after counter down for one three plus four. So you actually hit with the stomp a lot. And now Katarina has a lot less recovery. So it means you are still going to attack after it. It actually makes sense because they removed this move from the wall. It was my favorite thing of Katarina, the stomp at the wall, they removed it. Mm -hmm. So I'm sad about it, but at least the move now is, is strong because it gives Katarina momentum even after she completed the counter hit combo. You, you still have your momentum after because you're only minus one and the opponent has to get up. So they are actually a disadvantage, not a thing. And that's it. This is these are all the Katarina changes of season four. I would like to add something from the mid season three. Uh, do you know there was a patch in season three after like a while? Yeah, season yeah. Two went out. They buffed Katarina a lot actually during that mid season patch. They destroyed Katarina with season three point zero. 
but then they added this. The 3 to 3 is now plus 4, while before it was, I think, plus 1. This is huge because basically at plus 4, Katarina has a lot more options, and this is a very solid confirmable move, and it's a punish too. So they really, really granted Katarina a lot only by adding this and the Harrier 1 on counter. Yeah, it's Jeez. plus four, it's super good. Plus and four it's confirmable, so it's crazy good. And, and the good thing also they added is the um, counter it Harrier 1. Oh. Counter it Harrier 1, guaranteeing this into this. Uh, it's better to show off the wall because at the wall it's harder. But yeah, you got this and this. This is also a super good buff. It makes Katarina Harrier stance a lot, a lot more dangerous, especially after back one. Because after back one, the hike back one for one cannot be interrupted with anything. It will always counter. Oh, that's so crazy. it's crazy good. Uh, and this allow you to go for mix up here. Like I can do back one and then this because you are ducking for the hike. I can do back one forward and going for crouch. I can go for back one one if I want. Mm. So it's good. And this function also from down down two. From down two also I cannot intercept it because Katarina is a plus three if I enter the sense. You see, yeah. if I don't enter sense minus eleven, if I enter plus three. Mm. On the other side, after four four four. We are not a plus three, we are a minus one. So actually there, there are characters that can intercept with a 12 frame mid. Uh, uh, Katarina has back three, for example, to intercept. It. You can intercept it, but this will beat the jobs. So it's still good because it will beat the jobs. Okay. Th these are changes from mid season three, but in my opinion, they should count for season four as well, because we didn't see them when we did the last time that teach me with Katarina season three. Yeah. And in my opinion, they complete the character a lot more. So I believe she's good now. Not good enough to be a top tier, mm -hmm. but good enough to, to 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 have good matches. Like you can do well with Katarina, and there are some interesting matches she's very strong in versus top tiers. So she's also a good counter pick in my opinion. Wow. Well, 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 well. Okay, cool. That was some good, good stuff. Thank you for teaching me the stuff. I got two questions to ask you. So. What are the strengths and weaknesses of Katarina in this season? Okay, I think the biggest strengths are the meat, her meat. I believe she has literally top five or top ten. If we count only me, meat, uh -huh. meat hit, I think Katarina is top five or top ten in the game because she has so many good meat. Like this meat is, I mean, 14 frame, it's confirmable, does 38 damage. Plus four, you can go in stance after there it is. I don't know, I, I don't see any weakness to this move, okay? So I think this move is super good. It has a back three plus four, as I showed you, the the one that it's high crush, trucks, it's flat, it's so good. Like, her down for one is one of the best in the game. Back one now allows her to do a lot of stuff because in counter it, yes, that's guaranteed. But if, if you try to press after this, I got a free Harrier 1 into combo. I mean, down 4 to 2 is only minus 10, it's super good as a wall splat. I believe she has some of the best mid in the game. And her half kick, yes, it's shorter than before. But mm. it's still okay, like she does a lot of damage for me. So, yeah, I believe her mids are insane. I, I didn't even talk about down 4 4. Down 4 4 is 15 frame. They also buffed down 4 4 in mid season. Uh, if it hits you, uh -huh. it's plus four. Before it was like plus one also. So they made a lot of buffs to Katrina meets. So she has really, really some scary meets. Like I believe she's one of the stronger characters in the game when it comes to meets. So I would put meets are as a Katrina strength. Uh -huh. As a weakness, I would say lows because uh, she basically can do damage with <laughs> down four, down three. <laughs> but if she wants to do something very scary, she has to commit to full crouch and she has to commit to do 24 damage. She doesn't have something like, you know, like Devil Jin as a Hezwick. I don't even have to see you hit me with Hezwick to make me fear it. Like, I will duck sometimes versus Devil Jin. Like, you don't even have to condition me. I will because you got the Hezwick. Uh, Bob the same. Uh, like, these characters, 
got something that will make me dark sooner or later because the simple fact the move exists condition mm. but with katarina you don't have anything like that because this the heavy lows she has are probably down back three down back four and down forward three plus four but these are so slow you can see that mm. so they're not very powerful if she wants to commit to powerful lows she has to go in full crush and do this but this is still minus 16 so you can launch it Mm. Yeah, so it's still risky for 24 damage without, a, you know, it, you don't have a guarantee uh, like a knockdown or something like that. So it's still, it's okay, but it's a, a, a good low actually, but it's still risky. So she has to risk a lot with lows, unless you play with only down four, but you will do six damage per time, uh, seven damage. Seven damage. <laughs> I mean, eight encounter it. Like, uh, how can you win it taking seven doing seven damage per time? It's, it's against the game rules, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's the weakness uh, that I see in Katarina. Yeah, that's oh, it. Okay, cool. So imagine if the developer said, hey, Galanda, you got one change you can give to Katarina. What would it be? Oh, okay. This is harsh. I, I got two. I can choose just one. You could say the two, but you have to choose one out of the two. Ah, okay. I would choose the hockey range reverse. Like, I would like it to be like before. Not like in season <laughs> two where, I, I, you know, I saw the matches again. Sometimes I saw my matches in the last chance because it, they are good memories. Mm -hmm. Man, I got away with so many hop kicks, like crushing random stuff. I remember versus double at some point. He hit me with one, two, three of martial law on hit. The three horn hit. I don't know how much is plus, but it's plus a lot. Okay, yeah. one to turn it. I do hop kick after that, and it does jab, and I win. <laughs> That's so so robbery. It's a robbery. That, that that shouldn't exist. That shouldn't exist. So I'm totally okay that they remove the crush properties from the hop. Kick. I think they should be removed, and that's it. But I would like to have the range back. For sometimes it's very hard to whiff punish now because there are moves that recover low. So you can't fall for two. Mm. You have back four. Okay, this is a good with punish. I use it. But still, you know, having a hop kick like Catherine hop kick. Mm. I mean, the, the old, the old, maybe the old hop kick spoiled me. I don't know, but but it makes the character way way more dangerous in neutral. The simple fact that you know she has a, a strong hop kick makes you be so much more careful versus her to not whiff. Mm. So yeah, I would like that back for sure. The change that I would change. Uh, the other change I would like to have is probably it's more a fix. Like yeah, I would like to have stone up back for back at the wall, not with the old damage, even with the new damage, just because it's way better to to see than four for mm. three in my opinion. Like the stomp is a very cool move. I will reduce the damage of the stomp, but I mean, give me back stomp up back four at the wall. It's super cool. Like the love, you know, it made the character famous like the, the i remember at tournaments when i hit with the, the stomp people would just make the laugh in the public because mm -hmm. she does ha 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 <laughs> so it's iconic it's iconic i will give back the move even with less damage just to make her iconic again she lose some personality for that but the fact that i don't like at the wall with katarina um it happens both with she, she has two split by the way two combo split like okay. the direct the, the direct combo is down for one into three two is this one okay mm -hmm. while if we come from far i can do the new the new uh, yeah i'll try to show you it's so okay yeah this okay it, it didn't give combo but it's this four four three into a back four the the problem i have with both of these uh, ender is at some angles not one of them connect that's all like uh if we are a little yeah like this around this i'm not sure i can show you like it's really really hard to, to notice in game but like at, at this angle sometimes down for one okay we are too too much this is too much no, that's cool. I, 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 I definitely understand what you mean though i'm gonna try one okay. Okay, I'll try to bring you to the wall and see. Okay. Nah. Just go this way. Uh, okay, it's okay. Sometimes, uh, yeah, like this. Did you see the dump for one just with? Like, yeah. 
a wave like that for no reason, but the most of all is when the down for one actually enter. After a splat, the down for one enter. But the tree, yeah, 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 yeah. Like this. Did you see? Yeah. The tree to the wave. And sometimes if I do four for three, they have back four wave after. If we are a little uh, with a weird range. And th that makes it very hard when you see that you are not very good connected to the wall to make a decision. What, what should I do? Because both of my main combo don't do, uh, they, they whiff sometimes. It's risky to commit to them. Should I just go for something like down for one, back one, two, which does no damage? Or should I still try to go for three, 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 three after? Okay. It, it's something weird because, I mean, it's not like I'm not splatting you correctly. I'm splatting you correctly. It's not like the character is, is, uh, is not splatting. But still, sometimes it will not enter. It's just, it's just weird. Like it's, it's hard to, to explain to you here because it's very situational. Yeah. Uh, now, I get, I, I, I get, I definitely understand where you're coming from because it, it happened in the thing. But okay, so what? Does, she doesn't have to stamp anymore. So when, when she does the ha 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 and it's stamp, that doesn't connect, and then you get the up back four no more. Yeah, like now I have this uh, four four three instead instead of the old stone. Yeah. I have the I have to splat you from far because it doesn't function of that respect. I think, um, I think they should bring that back. I never knew that that was Yeah, new. It's, what, it's what I was saying, is this. This is the new splash. So the storm doesn't do that effect anymore? The, no, the storm doesn't. This doesn't. When did they remove that? Season, season 2? They removed it in season 3. Season 3? I see, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't that's know that. where they killed the character because they removed everything. They removed hop kick, they removed the magic 4. Magic 4 is minus 12, you see, minus 12. They, they, um, so they made also combos from single magic 4 harder because the, the the move has more recovery even on hit so they they, ner they destroy the character in season three now they're bringing her back a little it's still not enough in my opinion to compete that super super high level like she, she is not explosive like before to compete wow but I... uh, yeah we do what we can and, and the stomp yeah is what is what i said before they killed her uh, her persona you know yeah because she's like a cocky kind of character you know glasses exactly. on this you that want, you want to hear the laugh when you hit at the wall with the stomp doing ha 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 you want to hear that like then it's katarina stomping you and now she doesn't have anymore she has this like this generic 443 into up back four i don't like it i don't like it. like now it's it's exactly the same as leo you know leo has the, has the same move basically she does mm. this and then uh i think bo like two two mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so exactly the same move like you you could leave it it was really iconic even if you okay you you can nerf the damage i don't care but leave it you know yeah that's what i mean just, just leave the stomp with a uh, lower damage if you are not happy with the damage the stomp does okay cool so I, to, I get you so to wrap it up what would which one would you choose then the stomp or the uh, the other change for 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 a, uh, for a competitive perspective, I would check, I would take the hop kick, the hop kick range, for a competitive perspective. You uh, take the hop kick. Or uh, like a romantic perspective, if you put it, you can put it like that. I would choose the stomp. Uh, I, I don't know if it makes sense. Like uh, as a fan boy, let's say yeah. as a fan boy, I would choose the stomp because it's cool. I'd say that's that, that's more or less like a crowd pleaser because it, it it definitely is a thing. Like I've seen I've seen when you've done it, it works and stuff like that. So. You know, I hear yeah. ha ha ha. Like, I think that's good. But now, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Well, Galanda, thank you very, very much for the Teach Me episode. Obviously, you got your socials and your channel. Let them know what the <laughs> socials and channel is. Sure. Uh, I have a channel on YouTube called Galanda right now. Mm -hmm. I upload some some videos. Uh, not very often, but when I do, they are very detailed about practice mode. Mm -hmm. I, I did a series called Hit the Lab. Mm -hmm. where I show uh, a lot of things that uh, people don't know, like very, very specific. For example, I, I showed how Gary down for three is weak versus Jack because of Jack hitbox, showing like how can how Jack can option select everything after Gary down for three on it. Mm -hmm. Or I showed how you can be, uh, you can defeat some fake option select in the game that mm -hmm. people think, ah, this is an option select, but then I studied it deeper and I realized it's not. For example, Paul, uh, they, everybody was thinking Paul 
uh, than option select of Katarina 4 because the shoulder is 12 frames, so it, she, it will punish the single 4 and it will crush 444 with the shoulder. But actually, if you delay the 444 by one frame, you can beat the shoulder. So I, I show very, very niche stuff, something very, very uh, specific in the channel. And then I have a Twitter account, which I use a lot. It's Gerlanda Tekken. So you can follow me there. Uh, my Twitch is uh, Gerlanda, but it's written uh, Gear 4 and D4. So the 4 instead of the A, because Katarina is a 4 4 4 my shirt. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. All right, okay. cool, man. Thank you very much for the episode. Really, really appreciate it, everyone. It um, was a pleasure for me too, Jay, to stay here with you. And I hope you will learn something about the character. She's really, really interesting. And as I said, she's a good counter pick for top tiers like Steve Marduk. She's good against Steve Marduk, a lot good. So it's an interesting counter pick if you want a counter pick for this type of characters you will always see in the in tournaments because they're super strong right now. So you might study Cat for that. It's a good option. Who do, who else does she beat? Uh, that she's strong against. She's yeah. strong against these two for sure by a lot. Really, 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 a lot. Like I, I, they're my favorite to, to face with uh, with her. She's wow. also strong in my opinion uh, against. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. The way character uh, versus Azuka. She's strong versus Azuka because she has a strong knee. Uh, she can deal with, like as I said, down for two two is almost free because it's only minus ten, and Azuka has very very bad uh, punish for minus ten. Mm -hmm. And and in general, she can play even with a lot of characters, with really a lot of characters. I would say the way I play her, even if this is not probably something other people will agree with me, I believe she's strong versus Leroy. But that's just my point of view. Like a lot of people say, Kata for Leroy is terrible, um, uh, because Leroy has back one plus two, so Kata can do like this stuff because Leroy back one plus two will block it. Mm. But I don't know. Her three 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 is so strong versus Leroy Perry, you know, mm. because you you want to actually do the punish after the parry, you know. But no, I, I will keep doing this, and you have to guess when to do the parry after. And down for four is super strong when Leroy is in hermit stance to beat the auto parry stuff because it is an E. So Leroy is forced to do the normal parry, which uh, uh, I can easy punish her with. Mm. And in general, Katarina is very, very good in combo damage. She has always been. Now she's less strong than before with that, but she's still strong. Well, I think Leroy has to poke a lot. So being explosive versus Leroy means that in a half a second, I can recover the round. Like, I guess you are going to do down 3 2, for example. I can wear standing to you and do 90 damage very easily with the wall. So, I believe she's strong versus Leroy. But, but that's just my opinion. A lot of people think Katarina is not that good versus, uh, versus Leroy. So, yeah. In my opinion, she's good. All right, cool, man. Well, you lot heard it here, man. I hope you lot enjoyed the episode. We'll be on to the next one, man. Take it easy, Thank everyone. You. Thank you. Bye, everybody. <laughs>